There's a place in your heart Hi guys, this is Teacher Mel and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to learn about multiplication and division of exponential numbers with positive integer exponents. But before we start, let us try to investigate first. For example, if you have 7 square times 7 cube. So this expression is, it, is the same or equal to 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 so 3 times so as you can see here you have how many 7 all in all so 1 2 3 4 5 okay so instead of multiplying that 1 you just add it so 2 7 you have 2 7 here and then plus how many 7 here so you have 3 okay so to sum up you will get 7 to the fifth power another example if you have 6 square times 6 to the fourth this is equal to 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 so 4 times and then again you have to write here so how many 6 2 and then 1 2 3 4 so plus 4 so your answer will become 6 how many 6 to the 6 power so that means if a is a rational number then a cube times a cube or a to the fourth i mean this is equal to a times a times a right then times a times a times a times a so you get four times so in here a cube plus one two three four a to the fourth so your answer will become a to the seventh power so that means in general if a is a rational number and m and n are positive integers then a to the m times a to the n is equal to a m plus n and that is what we call the first law of exponent okay let's have an example for example if you have 5 to the 8th power times 5 to the 7th power okay so all you have to do is copy the base so this is uh, this is what we call the base okay the 5 it's called the base so all you have to do is copy it and then this is the power so add the power and it will give you 8 plus 7 and the answer will become 5 to the 15th power okay let's have another example for example if you have negative 2 to the third power times negative 2 so all you have to do is copy the base which one is the base the base is the negative 2 so this is the base and as you can see here negative 2 doesn't have the power so it means if there's no exponent or index written it is understood to be 1 so again copy the base negative 2 okay and then 3 plus 1 and the final answer is negative 2 to the fourth power okay for the last example under multiplication of exponent so if you have let's say 6b cube c5 times 2b c to the fourth okay so they are different given now so all i have to do is multiply six and two here okay so six times two is twelve and then 
B you got 3 3B here so 3 then 1 here remember if there is no exponent written it is understood to be 1 so 3 plus 1 and then C5 here so copy C5 then C4 here so plus 4 okay so to finalize this will become copy 12 then B how many B so you have B4 3 plus 1 is 4 B4 and then 5 plus 4 4C is 9 so the final answer when you multiply 6B cube C to the fifth power times 2B C to the fourth power is 12B to the fourth C to the ninth power all right now let's move on to the division of exponent okay example if you have 3 to the fifth power divided by uh, 3 square so if in multiplication we add the exponent here we're going to subtract so all you have to do is copy the base so you have to copy the base this is the base again this is the base so you have to copy them so 3 and then subtract the power yeah so this is the power this is the power so all you have to do is just subtract it so it you will give you will get 5 minus 2 right so copy the base 5 minus 2 is 3 so the answer when you divide 3 to the p power by 3 to the second power you will get 3 to the third power okay let's have another one for example if you have a to the seventh power divided by a cube so all you have to do is copy the base which is a and then 7 minus 3 so the final answer when you divide a to the seventh power by a to the cube is a to the fourth power so in general if a is a rational number and m and n are positive integers such that m is more than n then a to the m divided by a to the n is equal to a m minus n all right so let's have an example for example if you have 7 to the 8th power divided by 7 cube so again copy the base which is 7 and then 8 minus 3 so 8 minus 3 is 7 to the fifth power another example so if you have negative 5 to the 6th power divided by uh, negative 5 so all you have to do is remember if there's no uh, exponent written it is understood to be 1 yeah so you will get negative 5 and then 6 minus 1 so the final answer is negative 5 6 minus 1 is 5 so the final answer is negative 5 to the fifth power but what if you have let's say 12 b the 6 c cube divided by 6 b to the fourth and c square so first step you have to divide 12 by 6 so what is 12 divided by 6 the answer is 2 and remember b so copy b here you have b here you have b here copy the base b then 6 minus 4 then c cube here and then c square here so c 3 minus 2 so to simplify your answer you will get 2 b 6 minus 4 is 2 and then c 
3 minus 2 is 1. So it's okay if you don't write 1 here. So it's the same. Okay, it's understood that the exponent or the index is 1. Alright, so the final answer when you divide 12b 6c cubed by 6b 4c squared is 2b squared c. So for the last example, so if you have 27x9 and then y to the fourth divided by say 9x6y cubed. So first step is you have to divide 27 by 9. Okay, 27 divided by 9 is 3. And then x9 here and then 6 here, 9 minus 6. And copy y. So y, 4 here, 3 here. So 4 minus 3. Okay, so and then the final answer, to write your final answer, it will become 3. And then x, 9 minus 6 is 3. And then copy y, 4 minus 3 is 1. So it's okay if you don't write it, if you don't write the power 1 here. So it's the same. Remember, if there's no exponent written, it is understood to be 1. So when you divide 27x to the 9th power, y to the 4th by 9x to the 6th power, y cubed is 3 x cubed y okay so that's all for today hope you've learned from this lesson until next time all right so stay tuned if you are not yet connected to my channel please don't forget to subscribe click the bell so that you get notified the next time i uploaded my next video so that's all for today hope you like it bye bye